Hi, I'm Tuva from Telnor. Today, I'm going to show you some highlights and concepts of our managed IoT cloud platform. The managed IoT cloud platform, or MIC as we call it, is built up by domains in a tree structure. This means that a root user has access to the domains below, but a user in the below domains does not have access upwards. Things in MIC are organized by thing types. Thing types are groups of things that share the same resources. A resource is typically a sensor reading, such as temperature. If you have 100 sensors that report on temperature and humidity, it's beneficial to register these as the same thing type. In the thing type, you can also configure communication settings, such as uplink and downlink transformation, that are shared across the things belonging to a thing type. Thing types are found in the left-hand panel. When you add things to a thing type, you have to decide what kind of protocol the thing is communicating by and give the thing a name, a description, and also attach it to the same domain as the thing type is created. The things belonging to a thing type are visible in a list on the thing type dashboard. Now I'm going to show you how you can create rules for your things on the MIC platforms. Rules are found under settings. You pick the thing type you want to create a rule for, domain, and the thing. Next, you set up the rule. We want to get a notification if the temperature rises above 25 degrees. We only want one notification if the temperature rises. The action that we want is an email. So we send an email once this happens. The rule is now active and we'll send an email in addition to a notification if the value of the temperature sent from the thing rises above 25. The well-documented APIs is one of the things that makes MIC special because it makes it easy for you to draw data out of MIC and integrate it with your systems or build applications for web or smartphones. These are just some of the features of the MIC platform. It's fully customizable with endless possibilities. Check it out for yourself and create a test user account through the Start IoT portal.